My question is, how do we understand the claim that Jesus, peace be upon him, was crucified on a cross, tree, or pole in light of Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 22 and 23, and Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, which states that whoever is hung on a tree or pole or cross is cursed? Well, uh, I'd say you're about that close to understanding the gospel, right? Because we know, uh, we know Jesus is, is righteous according to both the Bible and the Quran. Muhammad in the Hadith said that Satan touches everyone who comes into the world, but he couldn't touch Jesus or his mother. Everyone else, Muhammad, everyone, Satan could touch him, but not Jesus. And so, you're right. How do, how do we reconcile our belief that Jesus was righteous with the Old Testament claim that anyone who's hung on a tree is cursed. And it seems that we would have to say that Jesus was cursed in spite of being righteous. And that's exactly what the, what the gospel says, right? The one who was without sin became sin for us. So, um, yeah, if, if, you, if, you, if, we, if we left those things out and you would wonder, oh, was Jesus cursed? Well, Jesus was righteous and yet he was cursed. Um, and notice, he was hung on a tree, according to Shabir as well. So he's under a curse, according to both views on, on the stage tonight. And so if Jesus was under a curse, well, what do we do there in, in Christianity? He's under a curse for a reason, right? He's under a curse for a reason, because he's becoming a curse for us, right? Uh, so that we can be forgiven. Um, as far as uh, other interpretations, I, I guess he's, a, he's under a curse because he was hung on a tree, but I, I don't know. Uh, Shabir's about to answer, so he can explain what, what he would uh, think about Jesus being hung uh, on a tree. I agree that Jesus was righteous, and uh, I don't agree that he was a curse.